you've written some iconic characters. You've written Batman. I believe you did Punisher, Moon Knight. So you've written all of these kind of vigilante style characters. Do you find it difficult to get in their heads? The hardest part for me with comics is that you're handed a public trust. It's very different. Orphan X is mine, right? right. That's, that's my world. I have stuff that I want to do and people can like it or not like it or buy it or not buy it. There's a bit of a public trust that's given you when you write Batman, right? I mean, Batman yeah. was around before I was born and he'll be around after I'm dead. And there's parameters that you're aware of, right? You're aware, you know, I'm never going to have you know, Spider-Man kill a busload of nuns, right? Like there are certain things that you're just aware of are not going to happen. Um, but you also are brought onto a particular book to, to push your own voice and vision into the book. And it's right. very much a tightrope balance though, because it's sort of, they're not bringing me in to make it about myself, but they're bringing me in specifically. And I tended to do sort of bigger reboots, right? Like when DC flipped and did the new 52, right? I wrote the Penguin origin story, Pain and Punishment. Um, and then I kind of reinvented the Scarecrow. I went through and did a lot of this stuff. With, with Punisher, I was brought in after Garth Ennis's legendary run. Yeah, on it was Marvel a big Max, run. Which, yeah. I mean, it was incredible. And they wanted someone outside. So I'm supposed to put something of myself in there, but make sure that I'm also not deviating from certain expectations. And so it's, it's, a, it's a balance that's in play there where you have to be respectful to the tradition while you add and you add your own embellishments to it. Right. Well, I think that's interesting because this actually really takes us full circle right back to earlier when you were talking about uh, as writers uh, that are artistic and don't want to sell out. Right now, uh, my mom always taught me um, pride doesn't put food on the table. And as writers, um, it isn't about selling out. It's about what you just said. It's about having your voice somehow translate into the i like to, i call it the product that you're creating and that's exactly what you're doing right now yeah i mean and it's look there's differing levels of room i mean the book of henry was you know was so bizarre and so unique like it just was it was this crazy confluence of events that let that get made it's very different than if i'm hired to rewrite a script for somebody right, right. which is different than if i'm brought in i mean i i've always gravitated towards original work um, you know, for a while I love doing comics. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to be creating a new, um, uh, a creator owned comic, which we'll be announcing soon, oh, um, which I'm you, very excited about, but I feel we, like I kind of, no sneak I got, peeks, no sneak peeks yet, oh, but, but, but soon, but soon. All right. Um, but you know, but I wrote a lot of my favorite characters. I got to sneak, uh, Spider-Man into a moon Knight. I wrote Wolverine. I wrote, I wrote a Hulk that alas was never made for Marvel. And it's sad. It's one of the best things I think that I, it's, it's one of the things I'm proudest of that I did. Um, but you know, and then I wrote, I got to write Batman. And so awesome. there's a certain point where for me, I played, you know, the rich kid who lives up the block from you has all the best toys that you can't afford. Right. I got to go there and Marvel and DC, I think I'm one of the, the, the I, had a, I had a good experience. I mean, they kind of opened up the toys and I played a lot.